topic rearrangements occur uh, uh, means we are going to deal with suprafacial and intrafacial uh, mode of uh, rearrangements <coughs> so <coughs> the outline of uh, today's lecture uh, uh, is given here uh, we'll first deal with how sigma tropic rearrangements occur uh, that's uh, in this we will deal with the uh, suprafacial as well as the intrafacial mode of uh, sigma tropic rearrangements then we will have a look at what are the uh, different um, symmetry rules as governed by woodward and hoffman so uh, under the title of you know woodward hoffman rules for sigma tropic rearrangements then we will some example we'll see some examples uh, of uh, of the utility of woodward hoffman rules we will apply these woodward hoffman rules on uh, some of the well known uh, rearrangements involving 1 comma 3 sigma tropic rearrangement 1 comma 5 sigma tropic rearrangement and we will also deal with the migration of hydrogen and uh, migration of carbon how the, the migration of hydrogen is different from the uh, migration of carbon from one place to another place uh, to begin with we'll start with how these sigma tropic uh, rearrangements occur <clears throat> and here we go you know uh, sigma tropic reactions being uh, pericyclic reactions and pericyclic reactions are characterized by cyclic transition states so we know in the transition state of of a sigma tropic rearrangement the group <coughs> that migrates the migrating group uh, is partially uh, bonded to the migration origin and it is partially bonded to the uh, migration terminus we know this so uh, in the transition state of a pericyclic of a sigma tropic reaction the group that has to migrate from one place to another place it is partially uh, bound to uh, the migration origin means where it was originally attached and it is partially bonded to the migration terminus means where this group ultimately has to go <coughs> so for example, if we take the example of uh, this uh, sigma tropic uh, rearrangement, we see here it's a 1 comma 5 sigma tropic rearrangement. It's a 1 comma 5 sigma tropic rearrangement. So a uh, numbering I have uh, done here, you can see I have already uh, taught you how to number uh, different uh, sigma tropic reactions, uh, different sigma tropic rearrangements. You can see <clears throat> during this reaction, this hydrogen here, this hydrogen here, it shifts from this hydrogen here. It shifts from this place and it goes all the way to this place. So this hydrogen is the migrating group. It has to migrate. And during the transition state of this reaction, this hydrogen is partially bound to its migration origin. So the migration origin of this hydrogen the migration origin of this hydrogen will be this carbon so we'll call it as as a migration we'll call it as a migration origin and <clears throat> this carbon here it will act as migration terminus it will act as migration terminus for this hydrogen so during the uh, cyclic transition state that is involved in this sigma tropic rearrangement this hydrogen here it is attached to both uh, partially attached to both uh, migration origin means carbon number one and it's uh, partially bound to migration terminus that is carbon number five so <clears throat> during uh, during this uh, transformation how this uh, <clears throat> during this transformation or this uh, rearrangement how this uh, hydrogen goes from carbon number one to carbon number five 
how this rearrangement occurs how this shift occurs for that purpose you see this hydrogen has gone from carbon number 1 to carbon number 5 and this shift can occur in you know in there are two modes of uh, uh, of uh, rearrangement possible this uh, hydrogen can migrate from migration origin to migration terminus and there are um, uh, two uh, methods there are two modes of rearrangement possible so here are those two possible modes of rearrangement one mode is known as the suprafacial uh, mode ya yeah, suprafacial rearrangement in what happens in suprafacial rearrangement <clears throat> in suprafacial rearrangement uh, the group if the group if the migration of the group or the if, if the group uh, migrates uh, across the same face of the pi system it's called as the suprafacial rearrangement so i have written here if the migration of the group occurs takes place across the same face of the pi system the rearrangement is said to be as suprafacial rearrangement this term is uh, known to you as you already studied about cycloaddition reactions there this term has we have encountered encountered this term here a suprafacial uh, mode of overlap and intrafacial mode of overlap it is the same concept here so this is one mode of rearrangement second mode of rearrangement will be if the migration uh, of this group if it occurs from one phase of the pi system to the other phase of pi system then this kind of rearrangement is known as intrafacial rearrangement or intrafacial mode of rearrangement so if the group migrates if the group moves from one phase of the pi system to the another phase it's called intrafacial and if it goes to the same phase of the pi system it is called as the suprafacial rearrangement we'll see in the next slide uh using some orbital uh, uh, description of this uh, rearrangement let's see this orbital uh, diagrams that we uh, we have depicted here you can see you know uh, this uh, indicates uh, a pi system and <laughs> you see uh, this is the uh, this is the migrating group here this is the migrating group here it has to migrate mostly it's uh, it's hydrogen here it's hydrogen it can be a carbon also but let's uh, focus on hydrogen here it's hydrogen <clears throat> and this hydrogen has to move from one it has to move from one carbon to another carbon so naturally it will be uh, uh, attached to some uh, lobe of the uh, to the or to some orbital of the carbon atom so <clears throat> here if we take this as a migration origin if we take this as a migration origin means this group has to move from this carbon and it has to go all the way to this carbon and this we term as as a migration terminus here mt in in short so this group this group here it has to move from this carbon to this carbon so how this happens there are two modes this mode is known as which i have shown here is known as the suprafacial rearrangement means the this pi system uh, this uh, migrating group here it moves across the same faces of this pi system this is pi system here this whole uh, is is a pi system here and this group it moves across the same face of the pi system so such uh, such a rearrangement is known as a suprafacial rearrangement there is another mode of rearrangement possible which is shown here you can see it's known as the intrafacial rearrangement and you can see this group here this hydrogen this is the one s orbital of hydrogen this is the one s orbital of Uh, orbital of hydrogen this group goes from this carbon and it goes to this carbon 
but this group doesn't grow, uh, go to the same face of the spy system it goes to the opposite face they are opposite faces this is one face and this is opposite face here this is opposite face here let me write like this <clears throat> it is the opposite face is it is the opposite face of this spy system so uh, this migrating group goes from this face to this face to this face so such a rearrangement in which the migrating group group goes from one face to the another face or opposite face this is known as intrafacial mode of rearrangement i hope this is pretty clear to you now in <coughs> you know both you have also studied in uh, cyclo addition reactions we know that both suprafacial and intrafacial sigmatropic rearrangements are symmetry allowed they are symmetry allowed symmetry allowed means both involve in phase overlap when the overlap occurs between orbitals of the same sign geometric sign algebraic sign that is known as the in phase overlap so both suprafacial as well as intrafacial rearrangements they are both symmetry allowed but suprafacial rearrangements are often easier because of because of geometric reasons and intrafacial rearrangements are not easier and many cases they do not occur at all because of the geometric constraints which are present in the molecule so geometric uh, sigmatropic rearrangements have you know cyclic transition states you know that so if the transition state has six or fewer atoms in the ring rearrangement must be suprafacial because of geometric constraints of the molecule so <clears throat> you have to remember this point it's very important point here <clears throat> if the transition state has six or fewer number so if the transition state has six or fewer uh, number of atoms in the ring that means the rearrangement has to be a suprafacial rearrangement it cannot be an intrafacial mode of rearrangement because of geometric constraints if it if it were you know if you have a ring which contains uh, six or less than six number of atoms in the ring present in the transition state there will be strain and this strain will not allow this reaction to occur so <clears throat> which means here which means if the transition state has more than 6 atoms if the transition state of a sigmatropic reaction has more than 6 atoms in the ring it means then even the intrafacial uh, rearrangement will occur so intrafacial for intrafacial rearrangement the condition is that the condition is that there should be more than six number of there should be more than six number of atoms number of atoms in the ring in the ring in the transition state in the ring of the or we can write of the transition state ts <clears throat> 